all right so this video we are going to talk about um how standard api can be consumed okay so so understand this okay uh uh because see it's it's a feature for any product by the way it's not salesforce right salesforce is also a tool it's a product right and we are we as a developer are just trying to use that product so uh salesforce as a product has given for every object that we have even if you have some custom object if you want to do a simple data manipulation like create the data inside that object update the data inside the object or delete the data inside the object from uh, a third party system right salesforce already provides you the standard apis okay so i'm going to show you in the system how you as a developer can go and find the standard api and give it back to your you know third party system developers right now see why i'm why i'm telling this as a standard api because standard api can do only create insert insert update data and these things only right if you want to do uh, a custom logic check right if you want to check something custom right then you as a developer have to go and create a custom salesforce rest api right so this is something we will go and learn after we you know export the standard api uh, so let's get into the system and see where you have to go and find the standard api i hope uh, uh, you guys know what is called workbench right so uh, you know i think we have already created a video on workbench on how you can do a data loading from workbench if you have watched the video you understand what is workbench basically but let me just quickly open the workbench workbench needs uh, your salesforce username and id to log in right it's it, it just ask you to allow you to log in so let me just log in with salesforce see it's asking me to log in with salesforce so i'm just clicking on this it's very easy to find okay workbench just search in google workbench you'll get in the first link only you'll get the workbench link okay so see here i have actually logged in uh, inside my same salesforce developer org right as rajesh strategy from this workbench all right now in workbench can do so many things i'm not getting into that but the one that i'm talking about is called rest explorer this rest explorer will give you the access to the standard apis provided by salesforce what is standard api is clear right standard apis are the api given by salesforce which can be consumed it's a ready made ready cooked api which can be consumed by the third party systems to you know do some create update delete operation inside your salesforce object so if you go to rest explorer right uh, these are the operation more or less you do inside salesforce salesforce is a database correct salesforce is a database and all you need to do with the help of this integration is either the, the erp system and salesforce system right so either your erp system will try to fetch some data as i said like your customer data is in salesforce so your erp system is trying to look for the data customer data which is there inside salesforce this operation is called get okay get means with the help of this get method you will be able to fetch some data from salesforce then post post is basically let's say um, you know um for example let's say the erp system is actually sending the customer data to salesforce so that's inside salesforce the data can be created you got it right uh, ideally the customer data should be created right from salesforce from only one channel but somehow suppose erp system also onboarding customers and the erp system has created the customer data all it is doing is sending the customer data to salesforce and is asking salesforce can you please create the data correct so if you want to create the data inside salesforce which you have to use post method okay get to get the data post to create the data so put method is basically uh, it's it's your upsert option all right if you know upsert right it's basically check whether the data exists inside your salesforce crm if it is then it will update if it doesn't exist then it will create it basically it just do the upsert operations right patch basically it is it's called update if the suppose the customer data is there inside salesforce and that customer data is that, that customer address suppose is been updated from erp and erp wants to send that updated data to salesforce crm then in this case inside salesforce the, the api that will be exposed by salesforce and provided to the erp system will have this patch method patch method will just use to update the data okay and delete is delete right let's say the customer data customer does does uh, is no more uh, act, an active customer so in the erp system 
the customer is inactive and the ERP system wants Salesforce also to you know delete the data. In this case, the API which will be exposed from Salesforce so that the ERP team can consume it will act and the, in, inside that API, you know, we will use delete method. Okay, and we don't use head method much, but uh, typically what this head method does, you know, it's you know, I said that it requests request and response. Head method will help you to just quickly go find the data from the header. Head method is basically uh, it's it's typically you know when you send the date request, it, you get a response, right? And you have to pass the response to get the data. Head head method, if you use, you can get the data just from the header. Okay, it's very easy to access the data right from the header. You don't have to go and pass the uh, entire response right so these are the uh, uh, methods that we use and we typically use get post and uh, what's that patch method okay patch method is, is is something that will help you to do the update okay so now let me show you how can you um, you know get the standard apis so all you need to do is log into your workbench how you know how to log in go to utilities rest explorer click on get and click on this execute you get so many things ignore this if you scroll down, no, in the end, you get something called S objects. You know what is X object, right? Salesforce object. I mean, including your standard and custom object that is called S object. If you click on this service slash data version 56.0, what you see is here, the S objects. I said, right, standard API is not that for only standard object, you get this API. No, for custom object also, because S object means standard plus custom both object called Salesforce object, right? Let's say my ERP system wants to create a lead inside Salesforce, wants to update the lead inside Salesforce, wants to delete the lead from the Salesforce, right? So all you have to do is you have to go to this REST Explorer, click on get, go to S object and control F L E A D lead. You have to find for the leads, okay? We have all the objects, standard custom object given over here. Just go to lead, click on leads, okay? You get something called URLs here. So you have this lead here, right? Click on URLs. Now here you get the actual REST API. REST API is nothing but it's a it's a URL, okay? It's a URL that's called REST API. Okay, you just have to copy this particular URL. This is not a complete URL, by the way, okay? Copy this URL because this URL will help you to get the data. Now see, uh, you know, uh, Salesforce, any API for that matter, if you want to test, Salesforce is giving you the standard API, you have to test it, right? There is a tool available called Postman. Okay, I have downloaded the Postman. You All you have to do is you have to download the Postman. And let me just quickly open the Postman screen here. This is my Postman screen, okay? Once you download, maybe you don't have to sign in, but without signing sign in also, you can work here. Once you download and go to your home, right? You can actually create a workspace, create a new workspace, give some name, right? Like I have given a workspace name as Salesforce LMS testing. And then you get this overview right here, overview. Just click on this plus sign, create a, you know, a, get this particular screen. Okay. Once you find this screen in your, uh, uh, you know, system, this particular software Postman helps, helps you to check whether the API provided to you is working or not to check whether you, I mean, from this Postman, you can actually send a request to the API and the API also can send a response to you. It can do all these checking things in, in inside your Postman. So without Postman, I'm, I mean, it's very difficult for me to write codes, right? Even even like <clears throat> whenever I do real, real time of integration, right? I ask my third party system that, hey, can you please provide these you know, five, six API based on the requirement that we have? Once they provide the API, I come here and first check in the uh, Postman if if my APIs are working or not, right? If the if the APIs are giving the expected response or not, right? Once I check that, then I start writing code inside Salesforce. So this video, I have explained to you what is Postman, uh, how how can you go and try uh, and find the standard APIs from Workbench, right? Next video, I'm gonna show you how can you test that standard API, like this particular standard API that you have received. How can you go and test it inside your Postman? Okay, so see you in the next video.